Hi everyone. Since everyone is super excited to start using Sales Copilot on Site Dynamics, so today in that video, we're going to show you how you can enable, configure, and use Sales Copilot inside your Dynamics 365 to be able to get the best out of it so you can ask it questions and it can answer you. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Mohammed Khalifa, and I'm a Dynamics 365 consultant who have helped a lot of clients and organizations from large enterprises to small and medium businesses to get the best out of CRM, and recently also started to help them to use and enable Sales Copilot. Now, let me show you how you can enable Sales Copilot inside your Dynamics 365 for the sales modules and what steps you need to do. Let's start. So the first thing we need to go to, we need to go to the power platform I'm in center. We need to go to settings. Then we need to go to copilot preview and we want to make sure that the copilot preview has been enabled. Then we need to go to the environment itself that we need to enable sales copilot on and we need to open that environment. Then we need to go to settings, product, features, and we also want to make sure that Copilot allow editors to get AI power answers to be enabled here and on as well. Another setting that we have to do, we need to go to the environment itself. We need to go to settings, advanced settings. Then we need to go to administration, then system settings. And you will find previews tab over here. And like I said before in the old videos, this tab was not there like three or four months ago. You just need to click, I have read and agree that this is preview features and they need to be used for test and development only. Feel free to enable sales inside and feel free to also click yes for the configure Dynamics Act, uh, uh, Dynamics 365 as you're saying. Then we click OK. After that, to enable Sales Copilot inside your Sales Hub or for any custom app, you need to go back to your Dynamics organization and then you need to open the Sales uh, Hub application. From within the Sales Hub application, this is where you're going to be able to enable Sales Copilot for the Sales Hub and other custom model driven app. Once you open the Sales Hub, go to Sales, then pick App Settings, and if Sales Copilot has been enabled into your environment, you're going to see a Sales Copilot preview button over here. So you need to click Sales Copilot preview. And if you set up Sales Copilot for the first time, you will see that set up Sales Copilot. So you need to click it to that button. And here you can say you're going to enable the Sales Copilot inside Sales Hub or any one of those custom apps that you already have. And you will see that I have some, you know, custom apps I have over here, a custom model driven app. Let's say that we're going to do that for Sales Hub and also we're going to enable the chat inside the Sales Hub app. Confirm. Honestly, congratulations. You just have been able to set up Sales Copilot inside your Dynamics 365 for the Sales Hub application. Once you enable Sales Copilot over here, you need to refresh your screen one more time and you need to jump back to the sales area. So we're going to do a hard refresh and we are going to opportunities. And we will see the Sales Copilot app or the Sales Copilot icon is being installed in that banner. So once we open it, because I already was playing with it, uh, there are a couple of uh, questions and this is a couple of answers, but I can show you what I've done. So as an example, and I'm focused on a specific opportunity called MB365, and this is where we're going to be doing our demo. So what we can do, we can start asking questions like summarize, opportunity, MB, 365. It's going to tell you that this is the summary for it, and this is the topic, and who's the potential customer, and what is the estimate closed, uh, closed date. Once we open the opportunity itself, we can dig into more details. As an example, 
we can ask it like catch up since my last login. It did not understand this question because I wrote since wrong. So we can tell it, you know, if we click show more, catch up with opportunity and give it the opportunity name. Now in the background, it's preparing. It's going to tell you here is a quick catch up. It's going to tell you it was created by this person on the state, the status is warm, and what is the estimated revenue, and who's the potential customer. And also, one of the uh, tasks that tells you, one of the question prompts, as you catch me since my last login, you can click on it, and it's going to tell you what has happened since then. Another cool feature in that, that you can keep sending email to the potential client or the contact for that opportunity from here. So once you come as an example, or let's try it on older email just to keep all the threads inside one or keep the uh, emails going back and forth like one thread. So let's come over here, a reply. And once you that, once you do that, since you are opening a, an email from within Dynamics and Sales Copilot has been already enabled, when you create a new activity or we can an email from Dynamics, the Sales Copilot Composer, it's going to open for you by default and it's going to suggest you or it's going to give you some prompts to do, to tell you what you can do. So let's add an example, describe an email. One of the things that I have done, I already set up, I, uh, I already had a call in, in this demo. I already had a meeting with the contact and we are preparing for the next meeting. And I'm going to show you how Sales Copilot can uh, prepare uh, notes for the meetings that happen. So let's describe what we say. Let's say that uh, reminder about meeting we have on Friday. There we go. Thanks for your email. I'm looking forward to discuss with you. Da, 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 da. Thanks again, Mohammed. And we can say add. Oh, I think it added for here. After we send this email to the contact telling him that we are ready for the demo on Friday and we excited the contact or the person that we're talking to or the prospect got back to us and told us and told us that this person is also ready for the demo. One of the cool things is because we already enabled Sales Copilot for Outlook. See, if we go to Outlook and if we see the email that came from that contact person or the prospect for that opportunity, and if we click in Sales Copilot, the Sales Copilot is going to give us a summary about the emails going back and forth for that opportunity. So it's going to tell us, you know, that we ask it to have a demo, then we agree to meet, and then we ask if there's anything else to add. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's also going to tell you that this email is related to that opportunity and is related to that contact and is related to that account. And an extra information, it tells you if there is any cases are being open for that opportunity, for, for, for that account. Now, let's assume that we want to have a demo or want to have a meeting with the customer for catch up as an example. So what we can do is still with it from Dynamics, we can come over here and we can set up an appointment. Let's call the appointment catch up. And we can have this as a team meeting. And uh, let's assume that we're going to set up the appointment at, at some point, let's say tomorrow at 2 p.m. Save and close. What's going to happen is a meeting invite is going to be sent to the customer or the prospect, and we are waiting to hear back from uh, the, the prospect. So, before you jump into the catch up meeting that you were willing to do with the client, what happens is if you come in the next day and you try to open dynamics like we're going to do right now.
the first thing that it helps in is the sales accelerator. And it's going to tell you that you're going to have a meeting tomorrow with that client at 2 p.m. And you're going to see over here that sales call pilot um, with this blue icon. It means that there is something new that it wants you to open. So once you open the sales call pilot, it knows that you're going to have a meeting tomorrow with that client at 2 o'clock. And it tells you, hey, there are some points to consider before your catch up meeting. So it tells you a little bit about the summary and it tells you that the client is interested and it tells you that you agree to discuss the service on Friday on another meeting. What you can also ask it to tell her to tell the Kelsey Copilot. What you can also ask to tell Copilot that prepare me for today's meeting. It might give you extra news or not, but eventually it's going to tell you the same that make sure to be ready for that meeting. And again, this happens because you had a meeting and this meeting show up in your tasks list. Now let's jump into that meeting and let me show you how Copilot can take notes and can help you to summarize the output of that meeting. What we need to do is we can go from here or from Teams to, to that meeting. This is Teams, Calendar. We say it's going to be tomorrow. Then we can join the meeting. To be able to use Copilot in that meeting, what you need to do, you need to start recording. So you just need to come over here, start recording, then start recording. For the sake of that demo, I already had a meeting before and I already had a back and forth conversation inside a meeting. And I'm going to show you how Copilot has been able to summarize that meeting for you. So let's leave that meeting and go to the one that we already had before. So the meeting that we had before, it's called catch up on opportunity. Once you go to that meeting, which again already happened, and when we started that meeting, we started the recording, you can go to chat with participants. You will see this meeting is an entry in your Teams. And you will see a sales copilot as a one extra tab. And if you don't see a sales copilot as an extra tab, what you can do is just click plus. And you can add the sales copilot from here. But since we already have it, we're not going to do this step. What happens is when you add sales copilot, it's going to listen to the recording and it's going to listen to the transcript and it's going to give you a summary for what happened. So click on the sales copilot. Here is the transcript. And in the mentions, it's going to tell you what we have been talking about and what the questions that have been asked. And if there is any details of that meeting, it'll tell you who attended that meeting. And it's going to tell you what the keyword that has been used. And it's going to tell you what are the keywords that has been used when and how many times. So you can go to any part of that conversations. And it's going to give you uh, also a ramp up about that meeting. And Again, if you don't have the sales copilot in the meeting, you just need to add it from here. So with the sales copilot with Team and the sales copilot in Outlook, and also the sales copilot that is installed in Dynamics 365, it can help you a lot to go over your data and summarize the data for you and make you prepare for the next meeting. Hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about installing, configuring, or enabling Copilot inside your Outlook, Teams, or Dynamics 365, or you have any Dynamics 365 questions in general, feel free to reach out. Talk to you soon. Thank you.